Right. Okay guys, welcome to the first part of the many videos to come on Chromebooks. And as I detailed in the video before, my machine for the job will be the HP Pavilion 14 inch Chromebook. Um, lovely little device and it's all chromey, which is nice. So, first impressions this is. This is going to be, if you've never seen a Chromebook before, the first boot process. So this is what you'll experience if you buy a Chromebook or use a Chromebook. Um, it starts in 7 seconds. This is because it's got a solid state drive built in. It's got a 16 gigabyte solid state built in. Um, this is primarily used for the operating system itself. Because as I mentioned in the first video, you don't really store anything on the Chrome. It's all done on Google Drive, which you'll get as part of your Google account, which is free. So that's the purpose only is for operating system. And also for offline mode. So this is for if you want to keep some documents offline. So if you're away from the net and you need those important documents, that is where it will be stored on that 16 gigabyte of storage. So enough of me talking. I'm going to open the lid. And one of the lovely features about Chrome, it actually starts automatically as soon as you flip the lid, which is quite nice. It's going to open it up, and in seven seconds you'll be on into the low login screen. So that was actually a full start, because I've just put it to um, sleep. So now we'll do a proper full start from, from cold. Okay, so now we're going to get the Chrome logo and bam we are into the login screen so this is your default login screen now the background you can change but this is pretty much exactly the same as what it's going to you look like to you so my account's already been logged in so I literally have to enter my Chrome password my Google account password because that is the password used to log into the device itself um, you can have many many users accounts on one Chromebook itself because it doesn't contribute to any storage on the device it just literally links it to your Google account in the cloud. Um, I'll show you around slightly. This is what you get. So you can shut down the device like a Windows machine you can. You can add a user. If I select add user, this is what it's going to look like. And we connect it to the web so it should look like something like that. That's exactly what it's going to look like. So something if you've logged into your Google account before, it looks very googly. Email address, password, away you go. You haven't got a Google account and you need to create one, literally just go to the right hand side and you'll see create a Google account. By selecting this, we'll launch you into guest mode and start creating you an account within with Google. Now obviously like I said the great thing about Google is it's all free guys, that's it, free. So all your all your emails free, your Google Drives free, Google Chat, Hangouts, there's a whole host of things you get when you sign up for a Google account. So we'll just jump back to the login screen. As I say, that's where I would put my password. Um, you can, if you don't wish to create a Google account, you can browse as a guest. Obviously you won't get the full benefit out of the Chromebook because it does require a login. If I switch to the right hand side now, this is where we get all our status indicators. So as you can see, I'm running a little bit low on battery. If I select anywhere within that region, it'll pop up like on Android with the status indicators. So as you can see, I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. So this is where you select your Wi-Fi network. If I left click on this, it'll show me all the Wi-Fi available to me in my local stratosphere, if you like. So there's quite a lot where I live. We go back again. Bluetooth, now this does vary model to model, I'm not 100% sure if the Samsung Chromebooks come with Bluetooth, but on the HP you do get that included, so as you can see that is Bluetooth, you can ch change the configuration of the keyboard if you would like another layout or if you're American or whatever, and then you've got your volume, so if I press on this region here that will mute it, or then go to this rocker, this will obviously adjust the volume accordingly. And then you've got your battery indicator, so I've got 11% which will last me 22 minutes. And obviously then at the right at the bottom you've got the date and time. Now I'm going to log in and show you then what your, if you like, desktop will look like. So pop in my Google account password, which never usually goes well on, on live feed. Oh, now we're in. 
So by default mine opens Chrome within login. But this is your default login screen. So obviously you can change the look of this how you like. And you are restricted. You can change the background only. And you can adjust these just all those apps on the bottom left hand corner which is your start menu effectively. So if we go right to the bottom I'll give you a quick run on what you get by default. Now this is purely by default. So by default you get Google Chrome. So as you navigate over it will tell you what it means. You got Gmail there, so for your email via Google. Google Music, so this is a great program, well app actually to the lie, which will allow you to upload 20,000 songs for free. It does have to come via another computer because you can't upload straight from a Chromebook yet. So I am, for example, mine comes off my Mac iTunes store. I upload my music. I haven't got 20,000, but you get free, which is fantastic. Your Google Drive, so this is like your My Documents, basically. So this is where you store all your data or your photos, whatever you want to import into the device. That's where you go. With any new Chromebook, I will start at the moment you get a hundred gigabyte for two years free with every Chromebook. After the two years, you still get a hundred gigabyte, but you won't be able to contribute any more to that hundred gigabyte. So then you would have to either go with a data plan or restrict back to the standardized fifteen gigabyte. That's your files. So this is where if you download a file, it will actually store it on the system. And then you've got your G+, which is Google Social Media. Now if I open up the app More Apps tab, so again it looks very much like Android, as you can tell it's by Google. You will then get the rest of the apps. So by default again, you've got Chrome, you've got Chrome Web Store. So this is where you get all the applications for the Chromebook. Because obviously this isn't Windows or Mac. You can't just download an application and run it straight off the back. It does have its own special app store, which we'll come back to. Um, so this comes with HP. This is just to register the product for warranty details. Google Search. You've got Gmail again. Sky Guide. Again, some of these I have actually added in. Um, Calendar. Scratchpad. Again, Google Drive, along with Google Docs spreadsheets and slides so they're like your word excel powerpoint equivalent which is free and works folks just as good and um, we'll be doing videos relating to these by the way google plus is straight to the social network uh, video call launch so this will launch hangouts which is google's version of skype which you can have 10 people included yourself in a video conference uh, Facebook and getting started. That getting started will give you an insight of how the Chrome will operate and what you can do. Go to the next page and YouTube, one of the favourites is Google Maps, you've got Google Play, you've got Google Bookstore, you've got Google Movies, you've got Games, again, which will be your apps, you've got Calculator, you've got Camera, Remote Access, so I can log into my Mac remotely with my Chromebook, again, Files and then any other apps you download yourself so as soon as you click one we'll just click Google Maps for instance it will then launch Google Maps and then away you go so oh, I've got the new Google Maps at the moment but as you can see it's very quick very responsive um, you do have a dedicated search key on the actual Chromebook itself which I'll show you by pressing this button here it will then launch your apps folder which then you can start searching straight away if I start typing YouTube it would actually do it's like having Google built straight into the box so I press enter then it will launch the web page itself and um, that's a first look of what the Chromebook looks like when you start it and um, we'll be going into detail what else is behind the scenes and um, one thing one quick thing I will show you is obviously when you log in it does display your account details which I will blur obviously for obvious reasons um, obviously it's slightly different so then you can click on that uh, you can log out and what have you in settings so if we go to settings here at the bottom this is what your settings page again it's all done within Chrome now there's not a lot of settings on this but I'll run down to what you actually do get so as you can see straight away you've got you've got your Wi-Fi area there so you can add connections if it's private applications you can appearance sorry so you can change your 
your wallpaper, you get the theme. So any Chrome theme you use on Windows, you can apply to this Chrome on the Chromebook itself. Um, setting your web page, so your bookmarks. You change the mouse and keyboard settings and search. If you like Bing instead, go ahead and use Bing. You know, Google don't restrict to using just them. Um, again, users. If we go to show advanced settings right at the bottom. Gives me time settings, privacy settings, and right at the bottom you've got ooh, reset. So if you ever was in doubt if you wanted to sell this on, press reset, it'll do what they call a power wash. It's get rid of your account. Obviously, you won't get rid of any of your data because it's not actually stored on the device. It will literally just clean your account off the system. So when somebody else uses it, they wouldn't even know you've been there. So, so that's been a very quick overview of what the beginning sequence will look like. I'm just going to power down the device. It's just as quick to shut off than it is to actually power the device on. Three, two, one, bang, you're done. So that's been a look at the Chromebooks, guys. Hope you've enjoyed it. And like I said, there is plenty more videos to be coming about the Chrome series. Thank you.